got up this morning, took a shower, got dressed, ate breakfast, normal morning. And then I realized that it wasn't just a normal morning. Because I realized that this is like the first morning in like three or four months that I have spent at home. Now this is because, you know, I've been going to college and been working and I'm just busy. I have to work every other weekend and I haven't had a whole lot of time to come home. And I don't think that I've ever really had the experience of coming home as much as I have like this. It's really hard to put into words what this is like. There's a just a unique sense of being coming back to the place that you grew up in. I just feel like it's such a unique experience that we as humans, you know, we share that sense of coming home. And I know for a lot of people, they've never ever experienced that, which is very unfortunate. Now, I'm, I'm by no means like a homebody. Um, I like to get out, I like to get out into the, the woods and explore and hike around and stuff, but it's nice to know that I, I have a place that I can come back to and almost, you know, feel secure, feel safe, and it feels so good to be back in the old woods. I haven't, I haven't been back in here in forever. Crazy. So nice. Look at this. This was my childhood. The woods. Best place on earth, right here. I love this place. I love it. Last night I got to see a really good friend who I haven't seen in forever since I left college. I love that man. <laughs> he uh he used to have really long hair and he cut it. <laughs> and I saw a picture on Facebook of where he had cut his hair and he looks like a completely different person. It is, it's crazy. I've, I've thought about growing my hair out um, just to see what it looked like, but now that I'm, now that I'm in college, it'd just be too much to handle and besides the college that I go to wouldn't even let me grow my hair out, so I've, uh, been really struggling to think about like what I want to put into this video, um, what I want this vlog to be about. As I feel a lot of vloggers might have trouble with, but then I, you know, I was thinking about it more, and I was like, why don't <laughs> Why don't I just make it about, not necessarily me, but about my life, maybe? I don't know, I guess that's what a lot of vlogs are. It's more about letting me film more, because that's my passion. I love, I love videography. And so I was you know, trying to find some 
better way, like ways where I can better express my passions for videography and filmmaking. And I was watching Casey Neistat one morning, afternoon, evening. I don't remember exactly when it was, but he was talking about pretty much the same thing where he uh, kind of decided to make a movie every day. Now, that's what I challenged myself to do for this entire week when I'm off and I'm not really too terribly busy. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I've never really thought very much about doing anything like this, but it's going to be an adventure. I think it'll be good. It'll be good for me to do this. Um, you know, maybe I'll find out that I hate. I'm not cut out for vlogging. Man, it's cold. It's windy. The temperature's dropped about 20 degrees from where it usually is. So, uh, our neighbors across the way, they, uh, they have so many animals. They have, like, they have, like, a goat, they have, like, a rooster. They just got two horses. They don't have them in a pen. Like, those two horses. They just let them run around. I'm afraid they're gonna hit by a car or something. And my mom is too. She worries about it more than I do. <laughs> it's crazy looking around and seeing all the projects that I've done. Like, I hate this ceramics piece, but I guess I'll show you it. It's, it's like a, it's like a rib cage. With like a turtle shell on one side and like a deer skull on that side and it was supposed to be like a fox's head on the other side but it didn't really turn out how I wanted it to turn out um it was it was an experience you know it was like it was one of the biggest things I've ever made and uh I don't do really good with big projects here's a <laughs> Here's a spear that I made. Looks about like a Neanderthal's spear. Look at that thing. The tip on that. Bring it to the light. You know, I look back on the, me as a child and my entire, like, childhood was centered around weapons, making weapons, and pretending to fight with weapons. Which I have nothing against. I absolutely think that is awesome because I still do that sometimes. Um, and uh, I am not a violent person. I am actually probably one of the least violent people you'll probably meet. I think it was just a way for me to express my creativity in a masculine way which is good I think gender roles are important in society I think without genders we would not have humanity for that matter but I won't get too into that because that's not what this is about so I wanted to figure out a way to like work in a devo or a devotional into my videos and try and like work God into just my life more, because I feel like I haven't been letting him into my life as much, so. I think it's time for a Devo.